what is money and how to attract money. Making money is all about following the principles and one of the things I have learned over the years of doing business is that money does not go to the hands of those who need it most but to those who use it well. You can use the money well by converting them to real money or investing them to the real money, goods and services, and then exchanging them to the paper money again. Take for instance you have 20,000 Naira and you need more money. More money can only be realized when you use the 20,000 Naira with you and convert them to real money. You look for ways to convert or sell them for paper money, and each time you are converting there is always an increase in the value. Your goods and services may be in fashion or anything else but once you properly position yourself to market, you should be making a 50% to 100% additional increase. The value of the paper money increased simply because you used it well not because you needed it badly. In terms of services like editing and proofreading. You can make more money when you edit articles or books for people as much as possible or you create online classes and training. You can convert different things to money and if you have either of these three you will be a money magnet. Dot. Goods. Services. Time. I am speaking for Israel Paul our business and investment advisor, subscribe to Financial Paul YouTube channel for quality financial information on money business and investment. For goods. These are the physical values you offer someone in exchange for paper money, these goods can be under different categories such as, food, clothing, shelter, beauty, care, electronics, and so on. As far as they are physical and there is a need for it, they can be exchanged for money. Sometimes it's easier to make more money on selling goods than services. This is as a result of the fact that the sales of goods can be repeated and you don't need to be there. Selling valuable products has made a lot of people rich because money flows in the hands of those who use it well. These people have been able to convert the paper money to real money goods, and when the exchange is made the real money is converted to paper money but this time, comes back increased. The richest black man in Africa understands this principle that is why he could establish so many goods producing company. After the sales of goods, he gets more paper money and turns them to real money. He then exchanges with the paper money but this time also increased. The Bureau de Change company uses the same concept. They change foreign money to local money and vice versa. Now look for real money that you can easily have access to and convert it to paper money through exchange or sales. Time. This is the most common way people make money. They trade their time for money and sometimes knowledge and strength is added. The set of people who trade their time and money are the regular 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. workers. I am sorry to say this, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. job is not the best except if he, she is having or acquiring a lot of things as a result of the job. Things like quality experience, improved intellectual capacity, and assets. If all these are intact then you can continue to work as long as you can because you are gaining a lot of experience and opportunities, but if the job is giving nothing other than salary paper money, then it is advisable to put a stop to it. Salary earning without any experience is a waste of time. One will have no experience in financial information so there is no knowledge on channeling the resources maximally. What qualifies you to sit at a job should basically be the acquisition of assets both tangible and intangible, intellectual assets. I know of someone who was in a good position in his place of work and after long years of collecting a salary, he was ready to start his own business but a lot of time had been wasted. He had spent a lot of time working for other people. It takes years to build a good business so it is better to start early while you are still working. I am speaking for Israel Paul our business and investment advisor, subscribe to Financial Paul YouTube channel for quality financial information on money business and investment.